I'm back. It's just really odd because I haven't filmed in, I don't know how long, but like six months. And not too much has changed. I'm pretty much still the same person. Still really confusing. Really hard to get around. Not a lot of people know what I'm on about, but there will be a time. And I, I'm guaranteeing, like, guaranteeing this. I'm still bad at talking. Um, there will be a time when people know what I'm talking about. By the way, I have a dream journal. That's what's changed. I actually record my dreams now. It's a thing. Um, can you tell I don't really know what to talk about? Ugh. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to be a decent person. You know, try to like, talk to people. It's not easy. It really isn't. Like, you, you think, oh yeah, socialising's easy. Then you actually do it. That's the hard part. That's... That's what I get anxiety over. That's, that's, to be honest, I don't even know how I have friends. I think, oh, well, here's the story. Here's the story. And this is going to bring up a lot of people, and I'm not going to name names, because I'm not that kind of person, and a lot of people are going to hear my side of the story and think it's bullshit, but it's how I feel. It's how I felt. And these aren't, I don't know, I feel really, um, it's, Black does not suit my personality, even though I wear it a lot, it doesn't really suit my personality. So I kind of feel weird wearing them. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my journey of friends. So in year seven, holy fuck I hated the year seven. <laughs> I really did. Um, it wasn't my year, it wasn't my class, it wasn't my, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the most enjoyable part of my journey so far. Um. So, you know, I had a really big group of friends and most of it was friends from primary school. Other people were friends from other friends in classes and we all just mushed together like potato, mashed potato. I'm just going to call it the mashed potato part of the journey. And it actually was like mashed potato. Um, because when everyone left, it felt like something just pushed me down. Like, it, it not everyone didn't leave. Like, the, I'm not, my... I'm making it sound really, really bad. No one really left, but people did, like, you know, leave the, the group. Um, and it got smaller and smaller, and things happened between those people, and I don't really know what exactly happened. It, happened. it Just things happened, I suppose, like, and people didn't like to talk to each other, and it was just a big mashed potato. It was just a really big clunk of mess, really. And I was the odd number out of the people left I was like the one always squished to the side like of the benches I wasn't really enjoying myself I haven't found my purpose I didn't I didn't I'm really bad at talking I'm trying to say that um I didn't really know what how much worth I had I didn't think I was like a really up there person but I did not like the way I felt treated so I made the brave decision to talk to a girl in my math class and there's a red splodge here, and I don't know what that's from, but let's just ignore it because I have to have to learn how to ignore things. And I'm not good at ignoring people, and I need to do that sometimes because draining people need to be ignored, unfortunately. Need to learn how to do that. Have you noticed? I'm wearing my shirt. <sighs> Told you, I wear this shirt way too much. Anyway. So, yeah, and um, I met this girl in my math class. She was so sweet, and... We'll get on to how sweet she was. <clears throat> There's limits to people. There's limits to people. You learn. <laughs> um, yeah, she was so nice. And um, um, she had a little small group of friends, smaller than the one I had originally. And one of the girls from the mashed potato group, um, when I say mashed potato, I'm not saying they're all shitty. Like, mashed potato is pretty good. It's not my thing, but, like, it's, it's yummy. Like, they're all nice, but, like, just not my thing. Um... Yeah, one of the girls from the mashed potato group did not like how I was, like, leaving them. Like, I left them. That's the quote. Like, I'm not saying that. Like, they actually thought I left them and I was really mean for doing that. And I give them reasoning now. I give them reasoning now because I didn't tell them why I left. Oh, if this camera is on the upside down part, I am so sorry. I'm... <laughs> did I say that I got a new phone? Like, that's what I'm filming on. That's why I look really pretty. Kind of. <laughs> um... I keep getting off topic. I need to like have it all written down on what I all what I need to say and then I won't forget it. 
keep forgetting what I'm saying and I'm really bad at it. So yeah, so there was a little bit of drama between my new group and the mashed potato group. Fast forward to year eight, which is the next fucking year. Wasn't exactly my year. It got better during the end. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm friends with this new group and it's all really good. And then, and then a man came into my life and I'm not even gonna call him a man. I'm just going, my ear, ooh, ooh, it's like it just touched beetroot or something, damn, what's with that? Anyway, um, I got a man in my life, and I keep saying man, but really, he's a boy, like, he, he's not mature, I, I, maybe he'll get mature, like, I don't want to shade. Anyway, um, yeah, we were starting to go out, and my friends were pretty protective, like, it seemed real innocent at the start, like, little things to big things okay it seemed really innocent at the start that i got a boyfriend and they didn't know who he was and they did lots and lots of unreasonable background checks like i get it you want to know who i am going out with so yeah check out his instagram check out his facebook but there is no need to make fake accounts and dm him to see if he would you know cheat on me or um <laughs> I don't even know what they did, but what they were doing was weird and just red flag. More red flags to come, though. More red flags to come. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they're doing all that, and it was all kind of suspicious. And this is the really heartbreaking part: was one of the girls from that group. It started off as like about five, and then it narrowed down to two other girls and me. So my group was three. Let's call them the oddness because three is an odd number and they were just odd like i'm so such a bitch i'm like if you see me don't think that i hate you for saying all this stuff like i'm just saying it because it's my life journey so far i don't i don't even know what's going on you right um so yeah um the heartbreaking part was my my guy i'm not even gonna say his name he's he's so mean to me right now um it's that guy he was talking to this other girl that was in my group and they were talking kind of like flirtatious, like during class, like risking it, like risking it for some sort of biscuit, you know what I'm saying? Like they were wanting to talk to each other and it was like a little bit, I don't know, I cried a lot over it. Anyway, it ended up really ugly and we did a really long FaceTime call all together, like, well not with him, but like all of us girls together. They thought they could keep it low key, like with me and this other girl, like FaceTiming. But it was pretty obvious that the other girl was on the other phone. Like, she was on the phone with her, FaceTiming me. As if, like, it was just her and me. But I've got smarts. Like, I heard that phone call. I heard it. I heard you switch on. I'm not dumb. I'm really making no sense. And I'm so sorry about that. I'll probably put a little bit of a disclaimer, I think the word's called, in the description. Anyway, so that was your eight. Year nine, um, it's almost ten minutes, I'm so sorry. Year nine, oh my goodness, holy macaroni and cheese. It was something, wasn't it? Well, you weren't there, I'm about to tell you. I say wasn't it, like, as if you would know, but you're going to know, because, whoa. Um, I am a nice person. I'm not going to say that as if, like, I'm a saint or anything. Like, I, I flip out, I suffer from anxiety, I do a lot of weird shit, like, just 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 one of a kind of a person you know anyway have you ever met a person who's the complete opposite of you just let that sink in like let that question sink in and think about it during this process of what I'm about to say because I keep moving along it's probably gonna piss people off but I get uncomfortable like if you think this is annoying me annoying watching me move around a lot then you do not want to sleep over at my house because I move a lot during the night it's just I can't get comfortable I just can't I've got too much energy inside of me and it's bubbling around like boiling hot water can't settle down anyway um so yeah she was the complete opposite of me this new girl um I didn't exactly clarify how I met this new girl but after that friendship ugliness of the oddness three oddness well I'm included in that I left and made friends with some new girls and um, we were all split up in year nine except for that one girl who was the complete opposite of me anyway um yeah 
you know, no shade to her. Like, she was really nice. She, um, because I want to be a book writer. She was really, you know, helpful. Um, she was very good at spelling. So I thought at the start, like, great, this is literally like a blessing that I've got this good, um, person in my life. But there's a difference between being two complete opposites and two, and one yin yang. Like, you know, a yin yang, how they have, like, they're complete opposites, but they mix. We were two complete different, not from the same brand, like, I'm saying no, same brand, meaning, like, Lego. Like, one was obviously a fake Lego, and I was obviously the real Lego. Like, we did not fit, alright? <laughs> what was that? I don't even know. My handshake with myself. Like, that's how you know your, your self-esteem goals. What am I even talking about, honestly? Um, this is where I really broke from my shell like this is where things change oh I had to tell her like this is the whole so just imagine me being with making no sense I really should write things down but I don't um so I don't know I'm making no sense and I'm so sorry if I'm not but it came to like the end of the year and I just had to tell her you know you're gonna have to go make other friends and it was a little bit bitchy so it was very bitchy. She, um, I think she asked if I was okay because when I'm not okay, my face just instantly makes the signal that I'm not okay. It's very bizarre. I think it's normal. I hope I'm normal. Actually, you know what? I'm not normal. It's, it's just a thing I do. And, um, so usually when I look sad, I am pretty sad. Most of the time there's an odd occasion when I'm not, but I looked pretty sad or confused or whatever I was making. I don't really know. And she asked me, are you okay? This is off memory, so it might be a bit tad off. And I go, you know what? No, you're going to have to make new friends. Like, that is... I don't even know how I smiled towards that. How did I smile towards that? That was so... That was so bitchy. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Mm. <laughs> how did I do that? How did I do that? I don't know how I did that. Um, yeah, and she was like, this is where my heart actually shattered when she said this to me. So after I said that, and it was a little bit bitchy, bitchy tone in, she said to me, I don't have any other friends. Now, I'm going to end it here, but I'm just going to tell you that that girl, still to this day, has barely any friends. And every time I walk past her, she death stares me. And I have to awkwardly look away because there's still that guilt inside of me. But you know what? I think the lesson here is you grow up and sometimes you're going to have to push away the negative energy and focus on your heart. Because if your heart fades away because of letting people, like bringing people up too much, then you're going to lose yourself. And the worst thing in life is to lose yourself when everyone else is confused as well. Because being in a world that's confusing and you don't even know yourself is like not it's like not even livable like I've never been depressed because I've never lost myself but you can always find yourself what am I even saying I don't even know bye <laughs> I'm starting to make no sense and when I start to make no sense that's when I gotta leave so I gotta leave bye